and blue numbers. Tommies will move left to right as we see it from center court in the second deck at Chenneker Arena. It's Parker Bjorklund to battle for the opening tip with Douglas Wilson. And we are underway. Tommies get the opening tap. Tommies trying to get back on the winning track. The Summit League has not seen the Jackrabbits lose so far. Bjorklund at the head of the key takes it free throw line, bounces it left wing for Hedstrom to Bjorklund on the baseline, too tall, and goes out of play. Tommies turn it over, a rare turnover for St. Thomas. They just don't do it very often. But they get one on their first possession. First possession of the ball game for the Jackrabbits. Wilson hard to the hoop. Kicks it out. Left wing mail for three. No good. Rebound Riley Miller. Surprised Wilson did not try and shoot that. Had a great look underneath. Lindbergh head of the key. Open for three. Short. Rebound to Easley. No score. 36 seconds gone in the first half. Easley on the right side, takes it ahead of the key, bounces it for Wilson, spins in the paint, back out front Easley, drives right in the lane, pulls up from 10, that's short, rebound Nelson. Both teams 0 for 2 to start the contest. 0 for 1, I should say, for the Tommies, they turned it over on their first possession. Bjorklund driving against Shireman, and he is bumped left of the lane, and Bjorklund and the Tommies will take it out, Shireman picks up his first. Tommy's averaging 78.7 points a game, 87.1 for the Jackrabbits. That's one of the tops in the nation. Bjorklund takes the inbound, 17 on the shot clock. Nelson takes it left sideline, gets a screen, shakes Shireman, goes underneath Bjorklund, drives underneath, looking for some help, scoops it up and got the roll, but walked with the basketball. Was in too deep underneath the basket, didn't have a good angle, and took an extra step to try and find the range. Still no score, 18.50 to play in the first half between two high-scoring teams. Arians into the front court right for the Jackrabbits. Lost it to Shireman near the right corner, guarded by Lindbergh, backing him down, getting near the elbow. Kicks it out front, Arians drives right in the lane, stripped of the basketball, gathers it at the elbow, 12 to shoot, they'll reset. Mayo has it left wing to Wilson, left in the lane. Guarded by Bjorklund, kicks it to Mayo, left wing, five to shoot, back to Wilson, low post left, drives right, steps back, and walked with the basketball. Well, the defense showing up for both of these schools early. Not something you expected. The Tommies average allowing 70 points a game. Jackrabbits are allowing 75 points per game. But no score with a minute 45 gone in the first. Miller picked up the dribble between the circles, find Hedstrom on the right sideline to Bjorklund out front. Bjorklund starts left, hesitates, drives, gets the rim, and lays it in for two. First pickle out of the jar belongs to Parker Bjorklund. 2-0, over two minutes gone in the first. Wilson back the other way, reverse layup, missed it from the left side, rebound Hedstrom. Tommy's looking to run with that 2-0 lead. Hedstrom down the middle of the paint, getting to the rim. Picked up the dribble, bounces it to Lindbergh, now out front from Miller. Gets a screen, drives past Mayo, stops underneath. Looking for some help with 18 to shoot, bounces it, Bjorklund right elbow. 15 to shoot for the senior, lets everybody go by. Drives left across the paint, goes off the glass for two. Parker Bjorklund gives the Tommies a 4-0 lead. He's got all four for the Tommies. Arians to Mayo out front at the 17-17 mark in the first. Shireman at the free throw line. Backing down Miller. Fades away. The left-handed jumper is good. Baylor Shireman averaging just a touch under 15 points a game. That's his first bucket of the night. 4-2 St. Thomas. 17-03 to play in the first. Hedstrom on the right wing. Bounces it. Bjorkland near the free throw line. Let's everybody go by. Bjorkland with the dribble. Hands off Nelson out front. Working against Easley, finds Bjorklund on the roll, gets to the rim, off the glass, missed it, rebound Shireman. Good tank, but couldn't get over the defensive Arians on the rotation. 4-2 Tommy, 16-40 to the first. Shireman goes to Easley, left wing, he's open for three, that's no good. Nelson gets the rebound on the baseline. Nelson into the front court with the two-point lead. On the roll, goes over to Miller. Right lane, goes all the way to the rim. With the left hand, he finishes for two. Tommy's lead back to fourth, the 16-18 mark in the first. Easley dumps it to Wilson, right of the lane. Quick move baseline, and a foul going against Parker Bjorklund. Got two hands on him, his first, team's first. 
Just can't do that. Tonight's officials, Rob Kuhneman, Lewis Garrison, and Ed Phillips. Luke Apple checks into the contest as Arians takes a seat for South Dakota State. And Nelson and Hedstrom out. Brooks Allen, Kevin Cunningham in for the Tommies. 20 on the shot clock for the Jackrabbits. Mayo inbounds to Apple on the right baseline. Working against Allen. Double team. Bounces out front for Easley. Back to Apple right of the lane. Spins baseline. Kicks it to Easley. Easley goes out front for Mayo. Mayo left in the lane for Wilson. Backing down Bjorklund. With the right hand. Missed the baby jumper. Rebound comes to Miller. 6-2 Tommies. Allen hands off Miller on the left wing. Cut off in the corner. Back to Allen on the outside left. Now to Lindbergh at the head of the key. Brings the dribble over to Miller on the outside left. 16 to shoot. Miller calling out a play, calling for a screen from Lindbergh. Instead goes to Lindbergh on the left wing. Reverses dribble into the paint. Finds Bjorklund baseline. 7 to shoot. Bjorklund attacks against Wilson. Backing him down. Push. No whistle. Pushed again. Shot blocked by Wilson. Comes away with the basketball. Wilson into the front court. Drives past Lindbergh. Gets to the rim and lays it up and in. First two points of the ball game for Wilson. Boy, a lot of contact underneath with Bjorklund. Officials didn't call it. Lindbergh trying to answer. Does with the right wing three. Lead back to the Tommies of five points. 9-4 with 15.03 left in the first. Wilson in the paint. Going to his left. Laying it up no good. And Bjorklund just picked up his second foul. And Wilson will have free throws when we come back. Five minutes expired in the first half. For the Jackrabbits, Mayo, Matt Mims making his first appearance. Shireman, Arians, and Wilson at the line. Excuse me, it's Apple, not Arians. And the first free throw is good from Douglas Wilson. 66% on the year for Douglas Wilson. Really has improved his free throw shooting. Second free throw also good. A couple of times this year he's gone 10 out of 10. 9-6. Tommy's with the lead after Wilson makes both free throws. 14-55 to play in the first. Miller on the outside left. Guarded there by Mims. Bounces it to Lindbergh inside the arc at the head of the key. Hands off Allen. One pass to Cunningham. Takes it to the left side. Hands off Lindbergh there. Back to Cunningham on the wing. 12 on the shot clock. Drives baseline. Gets to the rim. Lots of contact. Puts it off the glass for two. Nice take by the senior out of Glenview, Illinois. 11-6 Tommies. The lead back to five. Wilson squaring up against Allen. Gets into the paint. Floats it with the right hand. Missed it. Rebound Allen. Good look for Wilson. Couldn't score. And the Tommies with a chance to grow a five-point lead. Cunningham left wing again penetrates. Cut off at the baseline. Goes out front for Allen. It's a screen for Miller. Turns the corner. Nobody stopped him. Finishes with the finger roll on the right hand. Tommies doing their scoring at the rim. And they have a 13-6 lead with 14.03 to play in the first. Apple left wing for the Jackrabbits. Back to the basket. Out front for Mayo. Move it to Mims on the right side. Wilson takes it inside the ring at the on the wing. Out front for Mims. And boy, his three duds off the back iron and falls through. Just absolutely died back there. 13-9. Tommy's lead cut to four. 13-40 left in the first. Miller takes it left wing. Gets a screen. Towns around to the head of the key for Hedstrom. Cuts left it in the paint. Bounces it in the corner for Lindbergh. Back to Hedstrom out front for Cunningham. 11 to shoot. Hedstrom takes it left wing to Cunningham. Deep on the angle left. 8 to shoot. Puts the ball on the floor. Steps back. Nowhere to go with it. 4 to shoot. Allen has it with 3. Step back. Left elbow jumper. Airballed it. And it'll belong to the Jackrabbits after a shot clock violation. Dentlinger checks in for the Jackrabbits. So does Arians. Mayo and Wilson out. Matt Dentlinger, a 6'8", 240-pound junior from Arcadia, Iowa. Started the first 14 games of the year, but has been replaced in the starting lineup by Zeke Mayo. Mims has the dribble for the Rabbits, trailing by four. 13.05 to play in the first. Apple now takes it left in the lane, working against Hedrum. Spinning baseline with the left hand, banks it in for two. Luke Apple with his first points of the game. Tommy's lead is cut to two. 12.52 to play in the first. Allen out front, drives to the free throw line. To Miller, fakes the three, drives right in the lane. Bump there by Arians, no whistle, keeps the dribble alive to the free throw line. To Allen, back to Miller, 
in the left corner. 13 to shoot. Baseline. Picked up the dribble. Needs help. Finds Allen left wing. He drives to the rim. Off balance runner. Good for two. And a chance for three. Four points early for the 6'7", 2'10", junior out of Shakopee. And he'll head to the line trying to make it a three-point play. 9 of 16 this year for Brooks Allen from the free throw line. And the free throw is good. 16-11, Tommies. 12 and a half left in the first. Apple at the free throw line. Ball poked away. Gets it back. Poked away again by Cunningham. Battle for it. Cunningham comes away with it. Finds Nelson. And he will bring it into the front court for the Tommies. Miller takes it from him. To the left wing for Hedstrom. Back to Miller at the head of the key. Tommy slow it down now. Allen takes it on the left wing with a five-point lead. Allen attacks against Shireman. Into the paint, kicks it right wing. Heads from for three. Back iron and the rebound out to Arians for the Jackrabbits. Twelve minutes to play in the first. 16-11 Tommies. Arians into the paint, stops from five and knocks it down. First points of the ball game for Alex Arians. 16-13 St. Thomas. We'll get a timeout next whistle, 11.43 to play in the first. Out front, Hedstrom holds the basketball, finds Miller. Quick release, right wing three, short. Rebound to Shireman and the Jacks. Into the front court comes Shireman right down the middle of the floor. Move it to Apple to the corner for Mims. Traces the arc to the wing. Back to Apple, right of the lane. Backing down Allen, out front Mims. Quick pass, Shireman, left wing. Started to drive, but walked with the basketball. And that'll take us to a timeout with 11.22 to play in the first half. The Tommies leading the first place, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. 16 if they want to win the game, but at the rim, they've been able to do it early. Parker Bjorklund back into the contest, playing with two personal fouls. Kevin Cunningham, Anders Nelson, Ryan Lindbergh, and Brooks Allen on the floor offensively for St. Thomas. It's Anders Nelson into the front court for Bjorklund on the right wing. Goes to Lindbergh between the circles. Allen takes it left wing. Out front for Cunningham. He wants three. He got it. Five for Kevin Cunningham. 19-13 Tommies. 11-02 to play in the first. Arians with Dentlinger easily. Shireman and Mims on the floor. They go underneath Dentlinger. He lays it in from the right side. 19-15. The lead cut to four for St. Thomas. At the 10-48 mark in the first. Tommy's with the basketball. Cunningham holds it on his left hit, brings it to the angle right. Underneath finds Bjorklund on the roll. Shireman fell down after Bjorklund ran into him and Shire, or easily, excuse me, called for the flop. Oh, the official signaled 20. There is no 20, so it must be number 30. Charlie Easley, his first, team second. Easley was inside the restricted area. And the scorer's table saying, yeah, you called it on 20. There is no 20. 30. Now they got it. There will be 20 on the shot clock. Riley Miller checks in. Brooks Allen out. Ben now has also checked into the contest for St. Thomas. His first action tonight. Nelson to inbound, goes to right corner. Nobody had Lindbergh. He's open for three, and he buries it. How do you lose Ryan Lindbergh? Leads the Summit League in three-point shooting with 49% of his shots going in. Shireman into the front court for the Jackrabbits. To Mims in the right corner, drives against Miller, kicks it out front for Shireman, down by seven. Shireman over to the left wing, skips it right corner, Mims for three. Good. Can't lose Matt Mims either. He's shooting 55% from behind the arc. 22-18, Tommy's about halfway through the first. Nelson underneath, cut off in the pay, on the post. Spins outside, back towards the ram, and a shot blocked out of play by Easley. Tommy's will still have 18 to shoot. Dentlinger out, Wilson in, and Allen will check in for Parker Bjorklund. Tommy's coaching staff seeing Wilson back out on the floor wanted Parker Bjorkland out of there with two personal fouls. Nelson inbound left baseline with 18 on the shot clock. To Miller in the corner. Allen takes it left wing. Clears traffic. Working against Wilson. Takes it to the elbow. 12 to shoot. 
Goes to the right wing for Nelson with nine on the shot clock. Nice move, drives left in the lane, gets to the rim, and finishes with the left hand. First points of the game for Anders Nelson. Tommy's lead back to six, 940 left in the first half. Mims to the free throw line, takes it out front for Arians on the left wing. One dribble to his right, now fires with the left and hits the three. Five for Alex Arians. 24-21, Tommies. 9.25 to play in the first. Jacks have not had a lead tonight. Tommies have led by as many as seven. Nelson on the outside, takes it to the angle right, finds Lindbergh out front, trouble with the basketball, kicked by Shireman. Nelson picks it up at half court. 11 on the shot clock. Nelson into the front court at eight with seven. Picks it up, finds Lindbergh. Deep on the angle left for three. Short rebound, pulled down Shireman. Jack Rabbit's looking to run. Shireman slowed down briefly by now. At the free throw line, kicks it out to Mims. The easily right way. Move it to Mims at the head of the key. Start to drive. Lost the basketball. Poked away by now. Picked up by Miller. Into the front court for the Tommies. Allen at the angle left to now. Left wing wants three. Airballed it. Rebound to Arians. 24-21, Tommies. 8.40 left in the first. Shireman on the head of the key. To Easley, over to the right side. Arian starts a drive. Checked by Miller. Into the paint. Bumping. Fades and hits from 12. Arians with the last five for the Jacks. 24-23. Tommies holding on to a one-point lead. 8.18 left in the first half. Nelson on the outside left. Holds the basketball, goes to Lindbergh on the angle right, to now on the right wing, and an offensive foul away from the basketball as Arians and Lindbergh collided. Well, you could hear that collision up here. And the moving screen called against Lindbergh, his first. Team second. Excuse me, team's third. Lindbergh and Nelson to the floor, or to the bench. Cunningham and Hedstrom back in. Arians, Apple, Mayo, Wilson, and Easley offensively for the Jacks. Into the paint, Easley bounces underneath for Apple. Tough pass, and it goes out of play. Apple couldn't catch up with it. For the Tommies offensively, it is Cunningham, Miller, Now, Allen, and Hedstrom. 24-23 Tommies, under eight to play in the first. Allen at the angle right. Hands off Cunningham there. Takes it to the wing. Picked up the dribble. Guarded closely by Easley. And they move it back to Allen on the angle right. 15 to shoot. Allen puts the ball on the floor. Turns the corner. Cut off free throw line. Finds now left wing. Is three. Off the front rim. Rebound Apple for the Jackrabbits. Looking for their first lead of the ball game. With seven and a half to play in the first. Mayo angle left. Open for three. Good. Zeke Mayo with his 29-3 of the year. And the Tommy trail for the first time tonight. 26-24, 7-20 left in the first. Allen, head of the key, lets everybody go by, trying to get it to Miller. Guarded closely by Mayo, though, so Allen goes to Cunningham on the outside left. Back to Allen at the head of the key. Left down the lane to the rim, missed the layup, but will head to the line. Foul goes against Luke Apple, his first. The team's third. And free throws for the Tommies when we... The Jackrabbits have made their last five field goals from the floor to take the lead for the first time tonight. But Allen is at the free throw line. A chance to tie this up. One of one tonight for the Shakopee native. The former Sabre cat. First one is good. Second one from Allen is also good. Seven for Brooks Allen. Tied at 26. Brooks Allen is the Tommy's leading scorer. Wilson with the dribble ahead of the key. Allen keeps an eye on him. Arian takes it left wing. Gets into the paint at the free throw line. Kicks it out to Mayo. Deep on the angle right. 17 to shoot. Mayo's open for three now. After the screen, missed the three. And the rebound comes to Cunningham. To Hedstrom into the front court. Tied at 26. To the left corner, Lindbergh. Quick catch and release three. Short. Rebound to Wilson. Tommy's 3 of 10 from behind the arc tonight. Wilson attacks left in the lane, hangs in the air, airballed a five-footer. Hedstrom gets the loose basketball. Six and a half left in the first, 26 apiece. Miller looking for his first three-pointer tonight. Picked up the dribble between the circles, finds Allen on the outside right. Wilson keeps an eye on him. Jack's going with the man-to-man defense. Hedstrom on the left wing, gets into the paint, bounces it to the right side for Lindbergh. To the angle right, Cunningham for three. Off the back iron, and the rebound comes to Douglas Wilson. 
Easley takes it into the front court. Wilson takes it from him to Mayo on the left wing. Brings it to the head of the key. To Arians on the left wing. Dumps it to Wilson left in the lane. Back to Arians left wing. His three is no good. Rebound Lindbergh. Stuck at 26 apiece with 5.50 to play in the first half. Miller weaving through traffic, head of the key. Turns the corner left, spins in the paint, kicks it to Cunningham right wing. To the free throw line, he needs some help. Goes to Miller between the circles. Tommies will reset here with 14 on the shot clock. Bounce it to Allen right wing. To Miller right wing for three. Well off the mark. Long rebound to Cunningham. Seven on the shot clock. Fires the left wing three, no good. Heads from the rebound. The kicks it out to Miller. Angle right three. You bet. Third time the charm for the Tommies. And they retake the lead, 29-26, 5-18 left in the first. Jacks with the basketball, Arians on the right wing, screen from Wilson. Gets it to Wilson on the roll, double team in the low post. Kicks it out front for Easley, to Mayo left wing. Fires the three, it's no good, goes out of play, it'll belong to St. Thomas. Great defense there by the Tommies. Not only on the double team, but then on the recovery. Shireman, Dentlinger, both come back into the contest. Easley will take his seat. Easley, Dentlinger, Mayo, Wilson, and Arians on the floor for the Jacks. Nelson has checked back in for St. Thomas. So is Brooks Allen and Parker Bjorklund. Bjorklund at the head of the key for Cunningham left wing. To Bjorklund on the roll, cut off low post by... Dentlinger working against Dentlinger spins middle of the paint cut off goes to Cunningham on the left wing hesitates drives cut off underneath the Bjorklund on the left elbow seven to shoot squares up drives right bump there spins left fades with the left hand and scores with two on the shot clock six for Bjorklund imagine if he hadn't skipped his first two years of basketball Arians trying to get around the Defense of Nelson. Nelson trying to fight through the Wilson screen. Gets called for the foul. His first. Team's fourth. As I'm sure you know, Parker Bjorklund did not play his first two years on campus at St. Thomas. Just focused on his business major and his side business. As Brooks Allen checks out for the uh, Tommies and heads from in. Or Lindbergh in. Jacks with the basketball. Mayo at the head of the key. Bump from behind by Cunningham. His first. Team's fifth. Stops the clock with 4.15 to play in the first half. 31-26 Tommies. Bjorkland then came to head coach Johnny Tower and said, Hey, do you think I could try out? I mean, it's not hard to say yes to a guy who's 6'6", 195. Sure, we'll take him. And he has earned a spot on the team. Wilson left in the lane, takes the inbounds, loses it out of bounds, and it'll belong to St. Thomas. Good defense there by Hedstrom. 4.09 left in the first half, 31-26. Tommy's with the lead. Nelson into the front court for Hedstrom near the right sideline. Bjorkland takes it ahead of the key, hands off Hedstrom there, drifts left to Lindbergh deep on the left way. 18 to shoot for Nelson now on the right side. Going against Shireman. Crosses him over. Left in the lane. To the rim. Missed the layup. Rebound Shireman. Great take by Nelson. Couldn't finish. Arians in the corner. Bounces it short corner for Wilson. Lobs it in the middle for Dentlinger who scores at the rim. Four for Dentlinger. Three point Tommy's lead with 3.35 left in the first half. Left corner. Lindbergh's open for three. In and out. Rebound. Tapped up. Pulled down by Shireman. Tommy's now 4-14 from behind the arc. Arians in the paint. Kicks it out to Shireman. Deep right wing three. Good. Ties it at 31 apiece with 3-13 left in the first half. We'll get a timeout next whistle. Check that. Tommy's 4-15 from behind the arc. Nelson starts to drive left. Cut off the deal. Will finds Bjorkland all by himself underneath. Finishes with the left hand. Eight for Parker Bjorkland. 33-31, Tommy's with the lead. 2.53 left in the first. Arians left down the lane, fires from eight and hits. Nine for Alex Arians, ties it again at 33. Nelson head of the key, open for three. He wants it, he got it. Shooting 44% from behind the arc in conference play, knocks down that one, and the Tommy's lead is three with two and a half to play in the first. 
Mayo started a drive. Cunningham picked up the foul. His second, team sixth. And also takes us to a timeout on the floor. 2.28 to play in the first. Tommy threw the Cunningham foul. The Jacks will have Arians, Mayo, Mims, Wilson, and Shireman on the floor. 21 to shoot. Lindbergh, Hedstrom, Miller, Nelson, and Allen defensively. Shireman from the left baseline to Wilson. Back to Shireman. From the left elbow extended. The jumper's no good. Rebound Miller. Into the front court with the three-point lead. There's Hedstrom open on the left wing. He'll slow it down. Hands off Miller. Near the sideline on the left side. Mayo guarding him all the way across half court. As he crossed near the timeline, I should say. Nelson takes it, backing down on the right side. Mims picked him up. Poked away by Wilson. Nelson picked it up. Now they go for Miller to Allen. Back to Miller. Tip out of play. Last touched by Miller, apparently. And it'll belong to the Jackrabbits. Arians into the front court with under two minutes to play in the first. Hands off male left side. To the head of the key. To the right elbow. To Shireman on the way. Starts down the middle. Now has to back it out at the head of the key. To the right corner for Mayo. Guarded by Nelson. Starts to drive baseline. And Nelson got a hand on him. It'll be the second against Anders Nelson and the seventh team foul. One and one now for Zeke Mayo. Nelson picking up his second with 147 to play in the first. Mayo at the line, a 95.8% free throw shooter. And no surprise, the first one is good. Hey, Tommy fans, you can download the Tommy Sports app for all the latest scores, news, and updates when it comes to your favorite Tommy Sports teams available at the App Store. Second one on the way from Mayo, also good. He's got five, does the Lawrence, Kansas native. And the lead is one for St. Thomas with 142 to play in the first. Miller into the front court, goes to the left wing for Allen. Head of the key, Nelson takes it. Holding the ball on his right hip. Brings it over to Lindbergh. Takes it to the head of the key. Lindbergh to Nelson, right wing. Ten on the shot clock. Nelson clearing traffic, driving against Mims. Spins near the elbow, fires from 12. It rattles out and back in. Seven for Anders Nelson. Lead is three for St. Thomas with 113 left in the first. Mims on the left wing to Wilson. Left in the lane. Knocking down Allen. Double team. Kicks it out. Mims left wing. Fakes the three. Penetrates to the corner. Now goes to Wilson on the left wing. Back to Mims. 12 to shoot on the left side. Takes it to the elbow. Lost the basketball. And it's picked up by Lindbergh. Tommy's on the run. It's Miller into the front court. Leading by three. Miller crosses. Goes down the lane. Right side. Finger roll for two. Seven for Miller. And the lead is five for St. Thomas with 42 seconds left in the first. Jackrabbit 6-0 in conference play. Shireman at the head of the key, spinning against Lindbergh. To the right corner, Mims is open for three. Well, too strong. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Lindbergh. 28 seconds left in the first half. Shot clock off. Lead is five for St. Thomas. Nelson has the dribble in the front court near the sideline. Takes it to the St. Thomas Shield at center court. 15 to shoot. Schenneker Arena loving this first half. 12, 11, 10. Now with nine. Nelson on the outside right with seven. With six. Nelson to Lindbergh with four. On the right wing with three. Step back three from the wing. Short. Rebound Shireman. And the first half will end with St. Thomas holding a 40-35 to lead over the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State in their first action in and Anders Nelson. For the Jacks, they will open with the basketball. Charlie Easley, Alex Arians, Douglas Wilson, Baylor Shireman, and Zeke Mayo. So both teams returning to their starting five to open the second half. The yellow-clad Jackrabbits move left to right, and we're underway in the second half. On the left wing, this is Easley out front for Shireman. Arians takes it right wing, guarded by Hedstrom. Tommy's going with the man-to-man defense. Shireman takes it left wing to Douglas. Left of the lane. Going against Bjorklund. Kicks it out to Shireman. Deep left wing three. Good. Taylor Shireman, who shoots 47% from behind the arc. Hits for the second time from deep. And the lead is down to two for St. Thomas. 31 seconds gone in the second half. Miller, head of the key, takes the handoff. Drifts to the right wing. Goes to the right corner for Lindbergh. 15 to shoot. Lindbergh picked up the dribble to Miller between the circles. 12 on the shot clock. 
Miller puts the ball on the floor with eight. Moves it to Nelson on the head of the key. Six to shoot. Drives against Easley. Gets underneath. Pump fake. Got him to go by and banks it home. Trademark Anders Nelson move. He's got nine to lead back to four for St. Thomas. Arians on the roll. Finds Wilson underneath. Bjorkland had to let him go by. And Wilson lays it up and in with the reverse. Back the other way. Hedstrom in the paint. Body there by Shireman. Reverses dribble and tripped up by Shireman. Shireman got the leg out. And Shireman picks up his second team's first. Shot clock at 24 for St. Thomas. Leading 42-40 at the 18-50 mark. Miller inbounds from the right baseline to Bjorkland near the corner. One-on-one against Wilson. Puts it on the floor, backing him down. Bumping him. Puts it up with the left. Banking no good. Long rebound. Bjorkland got a hand on it. Wilson coming away with it. Two-point Tommy lead. They've only trailed once in this contest at 26-24. Right side easily to Mayo. Back to easily right corner three. Good. One point lead now for the Jets. Easley's first point to the ball game. And just the second time tonight the Tommies have trailed. 43-42. 18-18 left in the second. Miller on the left sideline in front of Coach Tower. To the head of the key for Bjorklund. Bjorklund hands off Nelson at the head of the key. Just to the left. Bodied by Wilson. Steps back near the wing. Goes out front for Lindbergh with nine on the shot clock. Miller takes it right wing. Seven to shoot at the head of the key. Five to shoot. Poked away by Arians. Miller in trouble. Gathers it with two. And a jump basketball call. Possession arrow St. Thomas with two on the shot clock. Tommies have been back to action for about three or four days after having to be quarantined for... COVID reasons. We'll see if uh, conditioning will keep them keep them going through the second half. Two to shoot. Heads from the inbound to Bjorkland. Left wing. The three at the buzzer. Good! Parker Bjorkland. Three out of four from behind the arc this year. Gets the call to shoot the three at the buzzer. Underneath they go Wilson who's stripped by Miller and a foul is called. Crowd doesn't like that. Miller picks up his first, team's first. Oh, and they're going to let him shoot? That's a shooting foul? His back was to the basket. Apparently he was taking the ball up. Wilson's first free throw is good. I would have to see a replay, but I, I thought Wilson's back was to the basket. There's no way that could have been a shooting foul. He hits them both. And the game is tied at 45 apiece with 17-38 to play in the second. Bjorklund at the head of the key. Fresh off a three-point make. Drives left in the lane. Bumped by Wilson. No whistle. Retreats to the wing. Hands off Miller there. Miller steps back. Wants three. He got it. Ten for Riley Miller. Lead back to St. Thomas, 48-45, and Mayo took the pass, stepped on the sideline, and the Jackrabbits turn it over. Eighth turnover of the ball game for the Jacks. Three-point St. Thomas lead, 17-15 left in the second. Miller runs the point for St. Thomas, although that is a loose term. Once they get the ball into the front court, pretty much everybody touches it. Hedstrom into the front court for Bjorkland, head of the key for Lindbergh on the left wing. To Miller out front. Drives left. Triple team. Bounces it to Lindbergh. To Nelson on the right wing. Cuts into the paint. Left down the lane. Forces it up. Good for two. A lot of contact. No wilts. No whistle. Back the other way. They lob it for Wilson with the alley-oop dunk. He's got ten. Then the ball got away and the officials will stop play. A fast break dunk for Wilson. But the Tommies still lead 50 to 47. 16-45 left in the second half. Tommies have three players in double figures. Nelson, Bjorklund, and Miller. At three-point lead, 16-38 left in the second. Nelson drives right, cut off at the wing, picks up the dribble, finds Lindbergh there. 17 to shoot. Hedstrom takes it ahead of the key to Bjorkland. Free throw line. Driving against Easley. Double team. Bounces it to Hedstrom. Fakes the pass. Fires the three. He got it. From the head of the key, Bert Hedstrom gets on the board. And the lead back to six for St. Thomas. 
16, 16 left in the second. Arians loses it, head of the key. Easily there to pick it up between the circles. Back to Arians, loses it again, picks it up on the right wing. Hands off Mayo. They'll try and settle it down here. Shireman takes it left wing. Pushed off against Lindbergh, but Lindbergh gets called for the foul. Second against Lindbergh. Team second. Nelson and Bjorkland out. Allen and Cunningham in for St. Thomas. 53-47 Tommy. 16-04 left in the second. 20 to shoot. Jackrabbits inbound. Shireman has it left wing. Wilson takes it left in the lane. Allen pokes it away. Gets the steal. Into the front court. Allen leads the charge to Lindbergh. To Miller right wing. Underneath trying to get it to Allen. Tipped away by the Jacks. Here comes Arians. Arians left side for Easley. Blocked by Miller but a foul. Two shots coming. Foul goes against Miller. Got him on the forearm apparently. Second against Miller. Third team. Easley, Mayo, Arians, Shireman, and Wilson for the Jackrabbits. Hedstrom, Miller, Allen, Lindbergh, and Cunningham for Johnny Towers' team. First free throw from Easley is good. Easley has that wrist and right thumb very heavily taped, but has been playing with that for a while. Shakes that right hand and now fires and hits. Not affecting his shooting touch. He's got five. Tommy's lead is four. Out front, Miller. Takes it over to Allen on the right wing. At the head of the key, picks up the dribble, hands off Limber, guarded closely by Arians. Now picks up Wilson on the switch, hands off Miller, circles into the paint. Goes to Cunningham on the left wing, 10 to shoot. Cunningham drives baseline, cut off by Easley, reverses dribble with six to shoot in the paint, kicks it for Hedstrom, right wing, three, good! With three on the shot clock. Hedstrom's got three or two threes in this second half. And the lead now back to seven for St. Thomas. Ties for their largest. Arians at the right elbow. Hesitates. Driving against Hedstrom. And a foul going against Hedstrom. Called for the hold. His first. Team's fourth. 15.05 to play in the second half. 56-49. Tommies. Inbounds to Mail. Tra- tracks it down at the half-court shield. Guarded by Cunningham. The freshman takes it to the right wing. Steps back, goes out front for Easley. The Shireman left wing, guarded by Lindbergh. Nine to shoot. Shireman out front for Easley. Quick release on the three. Good. Charlie Easley with eight, all in the second half. Averaging 6.9 points a game. 56-52, Tommies. 14-38 to play in the second. Allen picks up the dribble, hands off Lindbergh, angle left. 18 to shoot, drives right in the lane. Tried to get Wilson to go up in the air. Instead goes to Miller at near half court. 13 to shoot. Miller with the left-handed drive. Steps back. Driving against Mayo. Spins to the left. Scoops it with the left. Missed it. And the rebound comes to Arians. And to the front court for the Jacks. Down by four. Shireman fakes the left wing three. Kicks it to Mayo. Right wing. He's open for three. That's good. Jacks are heating up. And they have cut it to one, 56-55, 14-03 to play in the second. Tommy's have only trailed twice in the ball game. Cunningham started a drive, easily got too touchy with him. His second, team second. Apple in, Wilson out, Mims in, Arians out for the Jacks. Allen and Nelson in as, all right, just Nelson in, Hedstrom will take a seat. Nope. Allen came in to Miller, took a seat. There we go. Bjorklund sets the screen for Nelson. Nelson head of the key, 14 to shoot. Start to drive right, cut off at the free throw line. To Cunningham with 10 on the shot clock. To Allen left wing, 8 to shoot. Drives left in the lane. Lots of contact there. Got to the rim, missed the layup. Rebound, Shireman. Allen to Mayo, left wing, steps back for 3. Good. And South Dakota State matches their big lead of the ball game. It's at 2 with 13 and a half to play in the second. 11 now for Mayo. Head of the key, Cunningham. He wants an angle right three. Can't answer back. Battle for the rebound. Cunningham's tried to save it from going out of play, but was stepping on the end line. Belongs to the Jackrabbits. 9 nothing run here by the Jacks. To have a two-point lead. 
13-13 in favor of St. Thomas, or 13-13 to play in the second. Mayo on the left wing, circles to the elbow, kicks it for easily, angle right. His three, no good, rebound Bjorklund. Tommy's trying to answer back with seven minutes gone in the second, down by two. Just the third time they've trailed tonight. Nelson hands off Bjorklund left wing, gets a screen, takes it to the short corner left, double team, picks up the dribble, long pass to Allen on the right wing, 15 to shoot. Allen gets a screen, drives to the free throw line, reverses dribble right, back to the left, kicks it to the right corner, Lindbergh spots up for three, got it! Nine for Lindbergh, and the Tommies retake the lead, 59-58, under 12 and a half to play in the second. Mayo moves it to Shireman on the right wing, 15 to shoot. Shireman out front, picked up with a double team, goes to Mims underneath for Apple. Kicks it out to Mayo, left wing. Drives past, pulls up from eight. The runner won't go. Allen and Apple battling for the basketball. Apple had it, but fell to the ground. That's a travel. The Tommies will take it. Miller and Hedstrom check in. Lindbergh and Allen out for St. Thomas. Arians in for Easley for the Jackrabbits. Tommies 7 of 11 in the second half. Jacks 7 of 9. Shooting clinic here in the second half. Just about eight minutes gone in it. Tommy's lead by one. Cunningham into the front court, picks up a double team. Picked up the dribble, finds Miller between the circles. Now it's the Nelson right wing. Dumps it for Bjorklund right of the lane. Working against Apple. Backs him down. Spins baseline right with the left hand. Air ball the five-footer. Arians the rebound. Looking to run for the Jacks down by one. Double dribble. The officials missed it. They go to Shireman left wing. He gets into the paint. Picked up the dribble. Looking for some help. Tips now out front for Mayo. Now to Arians with 17 on the shot clock. No reset here. Apple will take it on the left baseline. 13 to shoot for number 13. Working against Bjorklund. Into the paint right. Spins baseline and banks it home. Lead back to South Dakota State. 60 to 59 with 11-17 left in the second. Miller on the angle right. To Nelson near the head of the key. Nelson calling for a screen from Bjorklund. Takes it to the right. Hesitates at the elbow. Backing down Mims. Kicks it to Bjorklund. He wants a three. That goes in and out. Hedstrom tipped it up once, twice. Now tipped up by Cunningham. Pulled down by Mims. Outlet to Apple all by himself. Lays it up and in. Luke Apple just leaked out. And was able to get the fortunate bounce. Tommy's down by three. 10.43 left in the second. Big deficit of the ball game for St. Thomas. Underneath, there's Hedstrom wide open, lays it up and in. Give the assist to Anders Nelson. Hedstrom's got eight all in the second half. Cuts the deficit to one with 10.28 left in the second. This has been an entertaining second half. Both teams really shooting well. Apple left in the lane, goes to Arians, winds up the left wing three. It's no good. Rebound, Bjorklund. Down 62-61 with 10.13 left in the second. Cunningham penetrates, tipped away, retracts, uh, retrieves the ball, I should say, near the left wing, between the circles for the Tommies. Nelson takes it deep on the right side, halfway through the shot clock, Bjorkland out front. Holds the ball up high, hands off Nelson. Nelson drives right against Mims, reverses dribble to the free throw line, trying to turn the corner, lost his footing, kicks it out for Cunningham to Hedstrom out front, three to shoot, step back three, try. You bet! Burt Hedstrom, have yourself a half. He's got 11 through the first 10 plus minutes of the second and the Tommies retake the lead 64-62 Seneca Arena rising to their feet Shireman in the paint kicks it to the left corner for Mims Arian takes it left wing, he drives hangs in the air, won't float it home Bjorklin gets a rebound and is fouled undercut by Apple Uh, Schenecker Arena crowd really starting to believe we have a timeout on the floor. And guard Ben now on the inbounds. It looks like the Jacks are going to pick up full court here. Trailing 64-62, trying to force the Tommies' hand. Tommies have turned it over just six times tonight, ten for the Jacks. Inbounds comes to Allen, and the Jacks back off. Allen into the front court, hands off Miller. To Hedstrom on the right way. To Allen at the head of the key. Hands off Hedstrom. Hedstrom 
Between the circles goes to the left wing. Lindbergh's open for three. He got it. Ryan Lindbergh with 12 to Tommy. 7 of 10 from behind the arc in the second half. They lead by 5 with under 9 to play. Arians on the left way. To the left sideline for Mayo. Whistle away from the basketball. And it goes against Hedstrom guarding Wilson. Hedstrom second. Team's fifth. Boy, Douglas Wilson has been a handful tonight for the Tommies. He has drawn a lot of fouls. But they've been able to keep him relatively in check. Ten points for Wilson. He's had to earn those ten. Inbounds comes to Wilson. Goes out front. Mayo penetrates to Mims on the angle right. He takes it inside the paint, steps back from the elbow, and hits. Eight points for Mims. Tommy's lead is three with 8.35 to play in the second. Lindbergh on the left wing, out front for Allen. Now takes it on the right sideline. To Lindbergh, head of the key. Back to Ben now, right wing three try. Well off the mark, rebound Arians. 67-64, St. Thomas, 8.22 left in the second. Wilson takes it right of the lane. Squares up against Allen. Puts the ball on the floor, backs him down, puts it up with the right and rolls it home. Tough to stop that. A dozen for Douglas Wilson. And now the Tommy's lead is one with 8.04 to play in the second. Allen between the circles. Brings it over to Hedstrom on the angle left. Under eight to play. Hedstrom hands off Miller at the head of the key. He's open for three. Off the back iron, it went up and... Touch the basket support. That goes out of play, and we have a timeout on the floor with 7.52 to play in the second half. Tommy's clinging to a... Wilson, Easley, Mims, Arians, and Shireman offensively for the Jacks. And Nelson, Bjorkland, Lindbergh, Hedstrom, and Miller defensively for St. Thomas. Shireman between the circles, lobs it. Wilson, alley-oop, dunks it home, and he's fouled by Hedstrom. Wilson with 14. He scored 10 in this second half. Should have never said anything about the Tommies containing him. I'll take that one. Foul goes against Hedstrom, his third. Team sixth. And a chance for a three-point play for Wilson. Missed it. Rebound. Pulled down by Nelson. Lead belongs to South Dakota State. 68-67. 7.35 left in the second. Yorkland on the outside right. Whistle away from the basketball. Foul goes against Matt Mims. His first. Team's fourth. Team 21 to shoot for St. Thomas. Nelson inbounds to Lindbergh between the circles. Now Hedstrom takes the left wing. Pass underneath. Tipped away by Wilson. Stolen by Arians. And he is fouled by Hedstrom. Hedstrom showing some frustration, I think. He's got four personal fouls, all in the second half. Comes with 7.27 to play. Hedstrom has done a lot of damage on both sides. The fouls with four, but 11 points in the second half. He'll come out. Brooks Allen in. But that is the seventh team foul. So South Dakota State now in the bonus. Will shoot at least one from here on out. Arians, an 83% free throw shooter. The front end of the one and one for the lefty is good. Rimmed around, hit the rim again, and then finally went down. It's a two point South Dakota State lead. Their largest lead is three tonight. And Arian ties that. Arians with 11. 70-67 South Dakota State. 7-18 left in this one. Lindbergh goes to the left corner for Allen. Traces the arc to the wing. Picked up the dribble. Kicks it to the right side for Nelson. Penetrates against Wilson. Hesitates. Gets underneath. Circles all the way to the elbow. Finds Miller left wing. Guarded by Mims. Miller right-handed dribble to the free throw line. Across the paint. Three to shoot. Forces it up short. Rebound to Shireman. Jacks up by three, 6.55 left in this one. Shireman ahead of the key, guarded by Lindbergh. To Easley, to Wilson, right in the lane. Back to Easley, right wing. To Shireman out front. One step, now steps back for three. No good from the head of the key. Rebound to Allen. 70-67, Tommy's trail. Nelson out front with 6.33 to play. 
Bounces it free throw line. Lindbergh squares up and he's bodied there by Arians who displaced him. Arians called for the foul. That's his first. Team's fifth. Nelson will inbound from an just in front of his own bench, Josh Rodenbiker. The director of basketball operations looked on. Goes to Bjorkland, hands off Miller, head of the key. Down by three. Finds Lindbergh on the right wing. Underneath for Bjorkland, right of the lane, kicks it out front. Nelson, trouble with the basketball, gathers it with eight on the shot clock, steps back. Now drives, left in the lane. Cut off by Easley, fades from the free throw line, and hits with two on the shot clock. 13 for Nelson. And it's a one-point deficit for the Tommies with six minutes to play in the second. Arians underneath with the reverse layup. Good. 13 for Alex Arians. Now from the right corner. Lindbergh ties it with the three-pointer. Lindbergh's got 15, one shy of his career high. We're even at 72 with 542 left in the second. Shireman at the head of the key, drives right in the lane, hesitates, gets to the rim, got Lindbergh in the air, and Lindbergh comes down hard on Shireman for the foul. Lindbergh's third, team's eighth. You wonder how the Tommy's legs are feeling right now. Their first game in two weeks had the extended time off because of COVID. They've been back to action for three or four days, but... Lose some of that conditioning, no doubt. And depending on how COVID hits you. So you wonder how their legs are feeling at this point. Nelson will take a seat. Cunningham in. The Tommies have seen the fouls rack up here in this second half. The point being, maybe with the legs a little bit heavier, they are forced to foul more often just because they can't keep up. One and one for Shireman. No, two-shot foul. Excuse me, it was on the shot. His first one is no good. Shireman, an 82% free throw shooter. And the left-handed sophomore hits. He's got nine. And the Tommies trail by one, 73-72. Five and a half left in the second. Tommies trying to hand the Jackrabbits their first Summit League loss this year. Yorkland takes it at the head of the key. Hands off Miller out front. Guarded there by Mims. Picks up a double team. Goes to Lindbergh at the head of the key. 12 to shoot. To Cunningham on the outside left. Cuts into the paint. Reverse dribble. Kicks it to Bjorklund right of the lane. 5 to shoot. Backing down Apple. 4 to shoot. Fades from near the free throw line with the left hand. No good. And Allen goes over the back of Shireman for the foul. Allen picks up his first. Team's ninth. And a 1-1 one and one now for the Jacks. Jackrabbit shooting 72% in this second half. The Tommy shooting 54%. Shireman at the free throw line for a one and one. Yorkland comes out, Nelson in. So it's Miller, Cunningham, Lindbergh, Nelson, and Allen for the Tommies. Front end for Shireman is good. Ten points for Baylor Shireman. Earns another free throw. Shireman also has eight rebounds. So two rebounds shy of his ninth double-double this year. Free throw is good. He's got 11. Tommy's again down by three. Third time tonight. That is their largest deficit. Five minutes left in this one. Allen at the head of the key. Looking. Goes to Lindbergh on the left side. To Cunningham near the wing. Traces the arc to the front of the key. With 14 to shoot, goes to Allen. Angle right, hesitates, drives, and fouled hard by Apple. Apple just walks away. Allen didn't like it. Neither did the crowd. As Allen had continued the drive, Apple had wrapped up the basketball, and that forced Allen to fall. Foul goes against Apple. His third team sixth. Excuse me, fourth against Apple. Apple takes a seat. Zeke Mayo in. 20 to shoot for the Tommies. 
Nelson the inbound from the O in Tommy's on the left baseline. To Miller in the corner. To Allen on the left wing. Hands off Miller. Circles into the paint. Bump there by Mims. Lays it up. Good for two. No, they're going to say it was on the floor. The official called it on the floor. It would have been a nice bit of continuation. And it'll be a one and one instead. Mims picks up his second. Team seventh. Miller, third in the Summit League at 87% from the free throw line. This is a one and one, though. The free throw from Miller is no good. Rebound South Dakota State. So the Tommies go for a chance from a three point play. To giving up an easy layup on the other end. Nobody picked up Zeke Mayo. He lays it in, and the Tommies trail by five. Nelson out front, guarded by Easley. Works the dribble over to the right wing. Drives baseline. Working in the paint. Fades from eight. Shot blocked by Easley into the hands of Shireman. Now the Tommies need to quilch this run here by the Jacks. Down 77-72. 4.09 left in the second. Jennica Arena's gone quiet again. Mims lays it up and in. Nobody picked him up back door. And that is four points the easy way for South Dakota State. There hasn't been a Tommy in the zip code. Cunningham on the right wing. Down by seven with under four to play. Miller out front. Reverse dribble left down the lane. To the rim. Missed the layup. Rebound to Mayo. And to the front court for the Jackrabbits. Hands off easily. Get a timeout. Next whistle. Mayo on the right wing, working against Nelson, backing him down to Shireman on the right side, 15 on the shot clock. Shireman to the free throw line, and a traveling violation called against Shireman. Turnover Jackrabbits, and it'll belong to the Tommies when we come back. 79-72, Tommies trail with 3.28 to play. Lindbergh, Nelson, Hedstrom, Bjorkland, and Miller on the floor for St. Thomas. Offensively, defensively, easily Mayo, Arians, Mims, and Shireman. Nelson in the front court. Goes to the right side for Miller. Takes it to the head of the key. Hands off Lindbergh there. He wants three. He got it. Cuts the deficit to four. And Ryan Lindbergh has a new career high with 18 points. Mims takes it on the right wing. Goes to Shireman right of the lane. Backing down Lindbergh. Backing him down. Bounces it back door. There's Mayo for the lay-in. 15 to shoot, or 15 points for Mayo. Ryan Lindbergh's career high is actually 24 points, excuse me. Of course, he went 8 of 8 against SIUE from behind the arc. That equals 24. Nelson on the right wing. Goes to Miller. Step back. He wants three. That's short. Rebound to Arians. 81-75, South Dakota State. Two and a half minutes left in this one. Tommies need a stop. Easley with the dribble. Goes to Arians right in front of head coach Eric Henderson on the right sideline. To Shireman, right wing inside the arc. Backing down Lindbergh. Backing him down. Backing him down. Gets into the paint and a whistle foul. Who do they get? Lindbergh or Bjorkland? They get Lindbergh, his fourth. Team's tenth. Shireman at the line for two. He is three of four from the charity stripe today. Trying to give the Jackrabbits their big lead of the ball game. Matches it. It's now at seven with that first free throw make. Second one on the way. Also good. Eight-point deficit for St. Thomas. 2-11 left in the contest. Nelson in the front court to Miller on the outside right. Working at the head of the key. Drives left down the lane to Bjorkland free throw line. 20 shoot to Miller. Left wing for three. Short. Rebound. Hedstrom tipped it, but it goes to Mims for South Dakota State. Under two minutes to play. And the Jackrabbits trying to salt this one away. Leading by eight. Tommies have led the majority of the contest, but are they running out of steam? Shireman backing down Lindbergh on the right side. Goes out front for Easley. Tough pass. Scoops it off to Arians on the outside left. Six to shoot. Arians step back three. Good. 
Boy, that feels like a dagger. Arians with 16. Tommy's down by 11. This is their large deficit. Nelson on the right wing with 118 to play. Left down the lane, stripped. Basketball into the hands of Nelson on the left cor uh, corner. Goes to Miller on the left wing, and he is fouled by Mims. Third against Mims, eighth team. One and one for Riley Miller. Miller has already missed the front end of one free throw. One and one attempt. Kevin Cunningham and Brooks Allen in. Hedstrom will take a seat and Bjorklund will take a seat. One and one for Riley Miller with his team down by 11, 111 to play. Free throw is good. Riley Miller will be the guest in one of our upcoming Tommy Talks. Sat down with Miller a couple weeks ago. Really fun to chat with him. So keep an eye out for that on TommySports.com. Miller hits them both. He's got a dozen. Tommy's deficit is 9, 109 left. Jack Rabbits with Mayo in the basketball. Goes to Arians between the circles. Allen right there with them. And Allen digging in, going for the steal. Is called for the foul. Free throws for South Dakota State. 101 to play. Tommy's need some misses, some rebounds, and some makes. Misses from Alex Arians to start. Rebounds from the Tommies. And makes from the University of St. Thomas. Down 86-77. South Dakota State has pulled away here at the end. And the free throw is good for Arians. 17 for him. Cunningham out, Hedstrom in. South Dakota State on a 25. On a 21, make it a 22 to 10 run here. As Arian hits the free throw, he's got 18. Tommy's down by 11. Lindbergh, left wing, out front for Nelson with 52 seconds to play. Nelson lost the dribble, gets it back ahead of the key, drives left in the lane, goes back door for Allen, and a foul going against the Jackrabbits on the drive. Easily picks up his third. That's the team's ninth. And a one and one here for Anders Nelson. It's their big points. Chance to score with the clock stopped with 47.4 seconds left. First free throw from Nelson. No good. Rebound, Shireman. And now Cunningham trying to steal the ball away. They get it to Arians in the backcourt. Double team. Goes to Shireman. He's got three to get it across. Stolen by Allen into the front court. 36 seconds to play. Missed the layup at the rim. And the rebound comes to South Dakota State. Cunningham forced the foul. Picks up his third. Boy, the Tommies with great pressure defense. Allen stepped in front of the pass, went to the rim, and just missed the layup. Big situation. Brooks Allen hasn't been in a lot of those. You wonder if nerves maybe caught up. Arians at the line to shoot two. Alex Arians from the free throw line, four of four tonight. And the first free throw is good, five of five for him. Ties his career high with 19 points. 12-point Tommy deficit. The final score is not going to be indicative of what kind of game this was. Second one also good for Arians. New career high of 20 for him. 28 seconds left. Miller into the front court. Head of the key. Step back, wants three. Front rim no good. Rebound, Shireman. Shireman is fouled by Allen or Cunningham. It's Cunningham who picks up his fourth. Now Shireman will go to the line. Shireman with 13. Tommy's led this one 67-66 with 7.52 to play in the second half. First one from Shireman is good. 
And since that point, it has been all Jackrabbits outscoring the Tommies 25 to 10. Make it 26 to 10 as Shireman hits them both. Nelson into the front court, 17 to play. Nelson gets underneath with 15 to Cunningham. Left wing, deep three. Back iron, no good. Rebound goes to Easley. Tommies will back off. And the Tommies are going to fall tonight by 15. Your final, 92 to 77. But the game was much closer than that. South Dakota State pulls away at the end for a 15-point win after a tough fought 